high in the primeval paradise that is the Austrian Alps. There is a storied splendor in the bright white peaks and in the picturesque villages that lie banked in snow beneath them. The Salzburg area of Austria is rich in a culture as enduring as its cobblestone streets and coursing waterways. A culture that for centuries has survived the challenges of nature and of man. of Nazi tyranny are brought to vivid light by the invasion of a movie company. Even in make-believe battle, these uniforms evoke strong emotions. And in a different way, so do the men who wear them. To recreate one of World War II's most exciting adventures, MGM has brought Richard Burton, Clint Eastwood, and an outstanding group of filmmakers to the top of the Austrian Alps, to a place where eagles dare. Where eagles dare is the drama of a daring mission carried out against almost insurmountable odds. The odds against successfully filming it in these authentic settings seem equally insurmountable. The mountains above Werfen, Laffa, and Ebensee would challenge the hardiest of alpine adventurers. To a motion picture crew, untrained in mountain climbing and hampered by tons of equipment, it tested them to the limits of their strength, stamina, and ingenuity. For all of them, the huge army of technicians working high above sea level, and especially the actors, this truly became a place where eagles dare. Of all who came to this location, none was more challenged by it than Clint Eastwood. Certainly unusual wearing war uniforms as opposed to ponchos and Stetsons and so forth. We've been up in the mountains uh, shooting from cable cars and hanging from cables and sliding off the roofs and shooting Germans. You uh, thought I shot a lot of people with a six shooter. You should see how we can do with a machine gun in a film like this. I think it's very apt casting to cast Clint Eastwood and myself because we have such enormous contrasts in type. He's tall and slow and drawly, sort of a la Gary Cooper, and as good as Gary Cooper, perhaps even better. And I'm short and thick and fast talking. This shot up from here. And now Richard starts to turn it and we're coming out at this angle because I understood well, it to be that we would be here yeah. Yeah. and see them come around the corner with the car. Still pushing it with them still pushing it. When it got to this point, the car rolls on its own. Continues to roll on its own. I pan. The car goes past them and goes, right? And I pull back with them, and the car goes out over the side. Planning was important because retakes were impossible. Beauty and danger, personified by German actress Ingrid Pitt, who actually made her own daring escape from East Berlin. You know, to be out here in Austria at this time is like living through the entire war again. Not that I'm that old that I would remember the entire last war. But there's shooting going on and killing and explosions and tanks and battalions. And I mean, it really seems to be all war going on. So I take the sled and I go out into the peace and quiet with these wild two horses. <laughs> what on earth are they doing? I'm terribly proud to be a member of this cast, which is really rather international. There's Richard Burton, of course, who's English. Clint Eastwood, who's American. And Mary Ewer, English. Our director is American, Brian Hutton. 
and I in German. Anything else needed, Tian? Oh! Uh, who might you be, my pretty alpine rose? Heidi. Stop, Major. I got work to do. There's no more important work than entertaining the soldiers of the fatherland. <laughs> Shall I sing you a song? <laughs> I bet you have a beautiful singing voice, too. <laughs> Thank you. Many of the people of these Austrian villages were given the opportunity to participate in the making of this film. For some of them, it held the reminder of earlier days with a frightening sense of realism. Salzburg each morning, the location. We point it at the pass. We move around 300 people in over 100 vehicles. We have three helicopters overhead, up to 16 radio channels open for communication. It's like bloody D-Day. that there would be used something between 10 and 20,000 rounds of blank ammunition for the submachine guns. And for the um, other stuff, we hope to use about 10,000 rounds. For as long as it has existed, the magic of motion picture making has captured the imagination of a world irresistibly drawn to explosive action, breathtaking beauty, and the glamour of storybook lives. Our job is primarily, uh, in this picture, to create the effect that we've blown up things, people, and huge fires, but uh, we, in place of blowing things down, uh, we push them over. Sometimes we use uh, a charge behind a telephone pole up against it just to shove the wall over. We blow the boards out uh, in effect with lots of fire and smoke. Uh, and so it looks to the camera like there's been a tremendous thing happen, but in reality, uh, it's like you lean up against the wall and shoved it over. powder charges here into the mortars. We use black powder because it gives the effect of a big explosion without the uh, concussion of one. We put black powder in and then various other things with it to give fire and black smoke and dust and chips and rubble effect. Everyone was asked to perform near impossible tasks in almost inaccessible locations, even the women. British star, Mary Yur. It used to take us about an hour to get to this location, but um, because of avalanches, the uh, main road was blocked. So it took me three hours to get there, five minutes to do the shot, and three hours back again. The ultimate goal is the castle, Schloss Hohenbergen, high in the Austrian Alps. In the film, it is a German fortress, the target of a hand-picked team of espionage experts. 
In reality, throughout the centuries of its existence, this castle has never been successfully attacked, although many armies in history have attempted it. Today, it is the destination of a determined cast and crew, headed by director Brian Hutton, an ancient, inaccessible, awesome setting. So authentic that it was considered by many to be impossible to film here. But the name of this motion picture is the motto of the men who are making it, where eagles dare.